welcome into Rock Painting 101. This week's prompt for the 52 rocks is daisies. So I wanted a fun way to make a white daisy pop on a white rock because, you know, it could look pretty plain. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I have some base coated rocks. I've shared my method for base coating. This is just where you have the front side base coated. The back side's not gonna be super pretty here, but that's okay because I'm not gonna use that. Good morning, Nancy. So we are going to get started right away on our rock. So today I'm using my paint pens and I'm also gonna use my Micron pen. Um, we have both of these listed in the supplies page that I have linked above. Um, the reason I'm gonna use my Micron pen is it's got a little bit more of a fine tip to it. Um, you can easily do this style of rock with acrylic paints as well. Um, just use what you've got. Uh, good morning, good morning, everybody. Hello, Aline. Let me refresh my screen so I make sure I stay in. My phone, I think I hooked it up backwards. Normally, the camera's on the right and it's on the left today, so I'll try to keep that in mind as I get going here. So we're gonna start by drawing our basic daisy shape, and I've kind of got it on that little side view. So the first thing you do is create your center. Um, so let's make sure, see I'm off to the right, we'll do it better, here we go. So we're gonna do our center and just do a little arch here, like so. And then we're gonna do our first petal off to one side. And you don't have to put the bottom, we're just getting kind of our general width of our rock. Now if you haven't used these pens before, they kind of have like a felt tip to them, so you wanna be very gentle with it. You don't wanna press really hard just to use a nice light touch, the ink will go down just fine. You don't have to press hard. If you press hard, you'll slowly wear down your tip. Or I guess you'll wear down fast. <laughs> They'll probably wear down a little bit over time just by using them. So once you've got that, um, you're gonna do one of your centers. Now, from the angle you're at, your sides are gonna be a little bit longer out than the center one will come down. So give yourself about where you think visually it would be and give yourself a center petal here and you can go ahead and give it some sides like so and then we'll come in and create the second side of these ones out here like that now we're going to split the space we have left here just give yourself a little guideline and create two petals out of the space left over so Give yourself a, a point you're aiming for, somewhere between the shortness of this one and the length of this one. You don't have to nudge up. We know we have daisies have their petals really close together, but they're kind of in layers if you look at them. So don't worry about getting really close to this one because your petals will start to kind of curve. So give yourself a point here and come out to that one and come back and then one in between there you naturally will want to kind of see, I even did there, you'll kind of want to be next to that petal, but really you'll have another one in between there when it's all said and done. So don't worry about getting really close. Like so. Like that. And then you come in and you add petals in between. So kind of in your mind, Make sure they're going towards the center. If you need to turn your rock so that your lines are going towards the center, I do. I, it helps me a lot to turn my rock so they're always going in the same direction. And some petals will be longer, some will be shorter. Just work your way around until you get to that top one. If you want, you can add in a few more, however you want to do it. There's no exact science. There's lots of petals on a daisy, right? Okay, now on the top, we're going to do sort of the same thing. We're going to add them, but since we're looking at it kind of from a front view, you won't see the full petals going out. They'll kind of seem short. So we're going to work our way around the top here and just create these petals, and then we'll add one in between like that. And I kind of go back and forth between my sides here. They won't quite go out as far. Like so. 
And the ones that are right in the middle, they'll, they'll look real short from this angle. Just kind of like that. And then we'll give ourselves a stem. You've got your basic daisy shape. Oop, sorry, I just bumped my camera. So once you've got your, your daisy on your rock, you could leave it just like this if you want. I mean, a white daisy on a white rock. You could just go in and, and paint it normally with you know a yellow in the center. Um, the technique I'm using today is just a little bit of a watercolor effect just to have a little bit of fun with it. So if you're using a regular acrylic, basically think of it this way if you wanna to try to follow what I'm doing. Have a brush that you're using as a wet brush and then a brush you're using for your color brush. Don't go back and forth between the wet and color and wet and color. So anytime I'm using like my pen, use your colored, your brush you're just using with the color. And anytime I'm using a brush with water, swap back and forth okay so I'm going to start with my center of my flower and all I'm going to do is get a little dollop, dollop of water a little dab of water and just kind of drop it right there on the center of the flower like so and then I'm just going to take my paint pen and I'm going to go right into there and just kind of dab it a couple times just like that not a lot just a little we just want a little pop of color and we'll just let that kind of settle in there and if you feel like you got too much water, like I'm, that bubbled up a little bit more than I thought, you can always take a little, either a, a Q-tip or a corner piece of your paper towel and just absorb it up. See, I pulled most of that color back up just because it was a little too wet. I didn't want it to run when I tilted my rock to do my stem. So there we go, just like that. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Patricia. So I'm missing the comments today because this one, I've kind of got to take a different angle out here. So we're just going to do a stripe here. And we're just going to add a little stripe of green. And you won't get a lot of effect with these two parts of the watercolor just because it's such a small space. When it will really start to take effect is when we do our blue. And the way that we're going to do our blue, I'm just going to grab the, the dripping part there so it doesn't keep running all over. I'm going to start on the stem and work my way around my flower and that way you don't end up with like a, a line here on the side you've got a natural line that's there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work back and forth between our wet and our color so you can touch up your flower when you're done with your pen so you if you go over your lines a little bit that's okay get in a good spot here in frame but you want to try to get as close to that black without going over as possible. So you're just going to start and do a few petals at a time and just kind of go around the outside edge and a little bit down your stem here with your color. And I'm not, you don't want to get the brush too wet because you don't want to wipe off all the paint. So I usually get the brush wet and then kind of dab it a couple times on the paper towel. You can always grab more water and just kind of pull that blue away from the flower. You want it nice and dark at the flower's edge and then you can kind of pull it down like that to create that fun watercolor effect. So just do that and go back in with your blue and do your next few petals. Like so, we'll go up this edge on that one. And do the same thing, a little bit of water, dab off the extra, you don't want it dripping wet. But for this one, the wetter it is, the more your color is going to pull. You can always go back and add some more color if you want. If it ends up dripping at any time, I would grab your little piece of paper towel or Q-tip and, and grab it. You just don't want it to be running all over the place. and Or maybe you do. You know, whatever you want to do is fine. Play around with this technique. It's, it's fun to do. So just keep working your way around your flower. You don't want to do too many petals at a time because you don't want your uh, paint to dry before you get get it out with the water. There we go. See, and I went over the edge a little bit there. It's okay. Don't be hard on yourself. Just take your time. I'm going a little faster than I would so that you're not on here all day with me, but just take your time. You can do, you know, one petal at a time even. And really take your time on each and every one. 
And there we go. One more side here, make sure I'm in frame. And you could really do this with any flower. Daisies just happen to be the prompt for this week. So that's why we're doing a daisy here. But this would look cute around a you know, fun tulip design. You could color in the flower in the center, just any color you like as well. You know, a lot of people base coat their rocks white, so got a white rock line around. This is just a fun way to put a white daisy on. There we go. Just pull that rest of that out. See, you got a little bit extra wet there. See, but if you dry off your brush, you can kind of wipe off some of that extra wet if you want to. Like I said, you just kind of play until you like how it looks. But since you have that stem, see, if I would have started here and worked my way around, I might end up with a kind of a interesting line there. So just give this a moment to dry. It won't take long if you're using the pens. It might take a little bit longer if you're using um, acrylic paint. So you want it to be dry before you go at it with, the, uh, with your pen. So let me clean off this brush really quick. Now our yellow's been nice and set there for a while. So I'm gonna, here, I'll refresh the comments here really quick and try to peek and make sure there weren't any questions. We'll give this just a second to dry. And then we're just gonna touch it up a little bit, but that's basically all there is to it. I mean, it's a really fairly simple flower. So I'm glad you guys love this one. <laughs> Most of the comments are just loving the rock, which I obviously love to see, you know. Good morning, Cass and Patty, Melanie and Teresa. Um, if you do have any comments on this rock, or questions, I should say, on this rock, feel free to leave them in the comments, even when you're watching the replay. I come back and read them. Been a little bit more busy lately. Now, on this one, I did a little bit of a shadow in the center, so you can do that if you want, would like to. But you just come back, and I should probably start on the other side, because I did that first, with your black, and anywhere you might have gone over the edge a little bit with your blue, just give that edge if you want to. Or you can just leave it as is. You decide. The only thing I highly suggest and ask you to do is if you create one of these lovely daisies to come back and share in the comments because it's fun to see everybody's work. And I think it's encouraging for others when they see, oh, you know, they tried that one, maybe I can try that one too. So that's my only request. So just go along anywhere that the blue kind of slipped over the edge. And we're gonna call this one done. There we go, a little bit on my green here. And there we go. So I hope you give this little daisy a try. Uh, if you've got a different daisy design, that's great too. I'd love to see them all on the 52 Rocks prompts. So I'm glad you guys like the flowers. And thanks for joining me live, those of you who are live. And thanks for watching the replay if you're watching the replay. So here's our little daisies. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.